What will your last 10 years look like? Will you be quick enough for a game of tag with your grandchild? Strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality? Or get old with disease? The family is an integral part of life. No human on earth exists without coming from a family. Though there might be a separation, death, or sickness that tears the family apart, they are bound to come back together again in love and with a caring heart. Each member of the family is as important as the other and every family should love each other equally, but when sickness holds a member down, how devastating it feels. Diabetes When you have diabetes, it's important to know how to cope when you're unwell. Especially if you have to go into hospital. Being ill can upset your diabetes management, so you need to know what to do to keep your blood glucose, sugar, levels as close to target as possible. You'll need to know how to manage insulin or other diabetes medications, blood or urine tests, and your diet. This is really important if you go into hospital. Always tell the healthcare professionals treating you that you have diabetes. The early signs and symptoms of type 2 diabetes can include 1. Frequent urination 2. Increased thirst 3. Always feeling hungry 4. Feeling very tired 5. Blurry vision 6. Slow healing of cuts and wounds 7. Tingling, numbness, or pain in the hands or feet. 8. Patches of dark skin. Type 2 diabetes, also known as adult onset diabetes, is a metabolic disorder characterised by high blood glucose. Obesity is thought to be the primary cause of type 2 diabetes in people who are genetically predisposed. Thus, overweight people have increased levels of glucose circulating in their blood. The pancreas is an organ which produces hormones that control blood glucose levels. The hormones that control blood glucose are produced by clusters of cells in the pancreas called islets. Here glucose is shown arriving at the islets via the bloodstream. The glucose is taken up by cells in the islet called beta cells. The beta cells respond by producing the hormone insulin, which lowers blood glucose. In type 2 diabetes, high levels of glucose stimulate the beta cells to produce lots of insulin to lower the blood glucose levels. The insulin is taken up by the blood vessels for transport to muscle, liver and fat, where it allows those tissues to absorb glucose. Unfortunately, sustained production of insulin also leads to secretion of large amounts of another hormone-like substance by the beta cells. White blood cells which live in the islet respond to this hormone and consume it. We are now inside an islet white blood cell at a magnification of 250,000 times. The hormone in combination with high glucose causes production of free radicals inside the white cell. The free radicals activate a sentinel protein that originally evolved to protect us from microbial infection, causing it to unwind. The newly active sentinel proteins then aggregate with six other proteins to form a ring.
Seven adapter proteins then bind to the ring. The adapter proteins work to capture specialised inactive proteins from the surrounding cell fluid, bringing two halves together to form the active whole, which is then released. This entire structure is called the inflammasome and its sole purpose is to act as a platform for combining and activating these proteins. The newly active proteins then convert yet another small signalling protein, splitting it into its active form. This protein is the key protein involved in inflammation in the body. The inflammatory protein is then secreted from the white blood cells into the islet. Unfortunately, this inflammatory protein causes death of the beta cells. Over time, beta cell death causes the islets to shrink accelerating disease progression. As the islets are now greatly reduced in size, they cannot produce enough insulin to control blood glucose levels. Over time, high blood glucose causes damage to many different tissues throughout the body. What originally evolved as a defence mechanism against infection now seems to be a driving force for inflammation in type 2 diabetes. Chronic diseases associated with inflammation are the most common diseases of ageing in the Western world and represent our greatest health threats in the 21st century.